that is a redshift. Astronomers often use the term redshift to describe how far away a distant object is. To understand what a cosmic redshift is, think about sound. Sound travels in a wave. You hear the engine of an airplane because the waves travel through the air to your ear. If the airplane is moving, the sound waves in front of it are compressed, creating a higher frequency sound. The sound waves behind it stretch out, creating a lower frequency sound. As the airplane passes you, you will hear the familiar Doppler shift. Light also travels in waves, and a similar thing happens to these waves. Light waves are able to compress and stretch, thereby changing their frequency or color. Blue light has shorter wavelengths than red light. When an object in space moves towards us, its light waves are compressed into higher frequencies or shorter wavelengths, and hence we say that the light is blue shifted. When an object moves away from us, its light waves are stretched into lower frequencies or longer wavelengths, and we say that the light is red shifted. So, how does red shift define distance? Well, the light from most galaxies in the universe is red shifted as seen from the Earth because the universe is expanding. It turns out that the farther away a galaxy is, the faster it's moving, and the faster a galaxy moves, the more its light is red shifted. So measuring the amount of redshift is a good measure of the distance of the galaxy. Using this cosmic redshift, astronomers have measured the distance of galaxies as far away as 12 billion light years, and we're always pushing that cosmic limit farther back. For Ask an Astronomer, I'm Dr. Tom Jarrett at NASA's Infrared Processing and Analysis Center.